Chris Scott's a culinary icon. Learning from some of the finest restaurants in Europe, he came home with a burning passion to showcase New Zealand cuisine. Today, I'm sure I'll be inspired by Jeff's Kiwi knowledge and passion in the kitchen. As owner of Vinnie's Restaurant in Ponsonby, Jeff's aim is simple, to take fresh, locally sourced produce and create dishes that nourish his guests, giving them the perfect dining experience. Well, Buffalo Yogurt, I heard you're a bit of a man for finding the good New Zealand products. What's the story with Buffalo Yogurt? Well, this is amazing because um, obviously you don't normally have buffalo in New Zealand. <laughs> Not far from where I grew up in South Auckland, there yeah. was, um, there's a couple who've got a, a herd of buffalo. Yeah. And uh, so what we're going to do is make a sorbet. Sorbet. With this right. yogurt. The great thing about this recipe is it's such a simple recipe to make. Yeah. Do you have to actually have an ice cream machine or is there other ways of getting around it by using the freezer? Absolutely. Yep. And even if you don't have an ice cream maker, it's really cool because you can put it into the freezer in a metal container yeah. and as it starts to set, take it out, give it a really good whisk with um, a, a whisk or you can put it into a, a blender and yeah. then put it back into the freezer and that'll help give the creaminess. So all you need to do is combine the icing sugar, and that's 180 grams of icing sugar, yep. 350 grams of the buffalo yeah. yogurt. And over here we've got 70 mils of milk, yeah. 70 mils of cream, yeah. and uh, your carefully squeezed lemon Perfect. juice. Where you go, my dear. So we'll put that into the uh, sorbet <laughs> machine. So you just uh, turn Pins it on, on, pour your mix in, and you don't have to wait. Yeah, cool. And we've got to try a little bit. Come oh, on. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I was waiting for. Yeah, right? I know you were waiting for that. <laughs> just to okay, see. I was going to say, can I lick the spoon? What does it taste like, liquid? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That is beautiful. So with that bit of sugar yeah. and the lemon juice, it's Yum. really... Yum. And imagine that frozen. Yeah, it's gonna be great. exactly. It's going to be good. Mm. Okay. Well, while our sorbet is churning, what we're going yep. to do is get this um, little chocolate tart, a Vinnie's mm. signature dish. It's a chocolate pastry, which has been baked blind, so it's nice and crisp. Yep. And we're going to fill it up with some roasted peanuts. And these are the salted variety. Oh, okay. <laughs> you always want to know salted, that. <laughs> really, really <laughs> salted and um, just lightly roasted. Cool. Lightly crushed. I like a bit of crunch and texture in there. And that's a little surprise that's yeah, going to go be, yeah. in the bottom of the tart. Yep. The next step is um, I've made some uh, rich caramel sauce. Oh, yum. So we just squeeze a little bit of that. Oh, look at that. Again, it's another little surprise as you're eating it. Mm. And then what we're going to do is pipe some chocolate ganache, which yep. is a mixture of chocolate and cream. Do you just um, bring the cream up to boil, um, or just before boil, heat it, and then add in your chocolate? Exactly. Sweet exactly. Eggs. Whisk it in, let Whisk it cool Whisk it in, down. and then just room yep. temperature, yep. right? Yep. Absolutely. And this goes on top. Oh, yum. That is a little surprise in there, eh? So this oh, is the, uh, yum. sort of the Vinnie's Snickers bar, would you call it? Maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. You got your chocolate, your peanut, your caramel. So that's the chocolate ganache. And to finish it, a little bit of Dutch cocoa over the top. Yeah. Just lightly dusted. And then it's ready to go on a plate. Yum, it looks good. we we'll start off, we'll just put a little dot of uh, the caramel sauce there so the tart doesn't slide around. Ah, that's the trick, eh? People always wonder, how does it get out to my table? And it's perfectly placed and nothing moves. Exactly. Yeah, you guys have all got tricks. Tricks of the trade, I tell you. Tricks. And that sits there. There you go. Just wedge it down gently, just a little twist so it doesn't slide around. The worst thing is you go to all this effort to make the, the plate look beautiful and the waiters come along and pick yeah. it up. Or you're at home, you go to pick it up and you turn around like this and, and the next thing you know, your tart <laughs> is on the bench. So little oh, things like that, a little dot of sauce. Oh, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> nah. But a little dot of sauce on the plate is just going to keep things nice and yep. neat and in control. It's cool. like a little insurance policy. Yeah, all right. So we've got here a little bit of peanut sand. Ooh. And it's actually very, very finely ground peanuts, which have been uh, almost, you know, pulverized. Yeah. And uh, it gives a really amazing texture. texture. When you taste that, it's quite unusual. Yeah. It's great. Oh, cool. And it's just a little garnish. Yeah to go with our uh, peanut and chocolate ganache tart. Yum. So I'll get some sorbet. I'll yep. get our sorbet out of the freezer and okay. we'll, uh, we'll eat. Yes, eat. exciting, exciting. So here's our sorbet. 
Or ready to go. Well, it looks like sorbet to me. Well, the most important thing before we serve anything at Vinnie's is to make sure the taste is spot on. Yeah. So I'm going to get you to be the judge. Oh, okay. And tell me if this is up to scratch and whether we can serve this with okay. our, our chocolate tart. Okay. I won't say no. You mixed it? Mmm. Mm. You can't serve that in Vinnie's. What do you mean? You've got to serve it at my house only. So I'll take this one and you can make it. No, <laughs> no it's good. It's good. It's really good. That creaminess of the, the yogurt just comes through really nicely, eh? And also a little bit of that sharpness. Yeah, exactly. It's that which sort of balances lovely it sort out. of sour mm. buffalo, mm. that unique sort of buffalo sourness coming through. I love through. it. Now, the interesting thing with this sorbet, normally with sorbets or ice creams, we'd use hot water. Yeah. We'd be dipping our scoop into hot water. Yeah. But with a sorbet, you can just use a cold ice cream scoop. Yeah, because it's so soft. And look at that. Ah, oh, perfect. Look how that Saves just rolls that off. Yeah. Away. Yep. You don't need to use a heated scoop. Yeah. And then perfect. that is ready to go on to the plate. Yeah. Looks good. All awesome. Right. That looks amazing. We're ready to go. Yep. Would you uh, like to do the honours? I will, I will indeed. Just leave a bit for me, oh. okay? <laughs> All right, if I have to, just a little bit. Yum. Faster, faster. I gotta wait for you, you grab some. I'm sorry, big portions I'm gonna, for yeah, me. I'm gonna big go, portions for me. I'm gonna go more. You taste it. Yeah, ma'am. Are you ready? Yeah, Let's I'm ready. Mmm. That is amazing. Snickers with sorbet. I am going to have to have more, that's awesome Jeff. but thank you so much for taking me through the steps of a sorbet and showing me how easy it is, you know? Hey, you're welcome, it's been Can good I, fun. Yeah, and I'm going to have some more. Okay. <laughs> that's amazing. Baby, I love it. Coming up, I pop out to my garden to get some fresh spinach for my next dish, tandoori lamb with a burani salad and some homemade baba ganoush.